and welcome to Easy Italian with Lisa Velastro. Today I'm going to show you one of my go-to dishes when I have unexpected company. Pasta cacio e pepe, which basically means pasta with cheese and pepper. So easy to make. I can guarantee you you'll have all the ingredients at your house at all times. What I like to start off with is a flat, low pot, and I will put about a quart and a half of water. So as the pasta cooks, it absorbs the water and leaves me just a little bit left to make the cream sauce for my cacio e pepe. I am going to use about only one tablespoon of salt. This is very important because when you add the cheese later, the cheese is very salty and you're not actually draining the pasta from the water to get rid of the excess salt. So I am just gonna use about one tablespoon of salt. Now that I've salted my water, I am going to put my pasta in. Okay, so now we are going to wait as the pasta cooks. Now this is one of those pots that you have to stay by the stove because you have to make sure your pasta doesn't stick together, you gotta move it around. And you'll notice as the pasta cooks, the water will reduce. This will take about seven to 10 minutes to cook. So every once in a while you wanna move it around so it doesn't clump together because who likes clumpy pasta? Let me tell you a story about this dish. So this is the dish that I go to every time my husband calls me and tells me he's coming home with unexpected guests and I don't know what to make. <laughs> Cause I normally have dinner on the table at night for him and I and the kids. But when he tells me he's bringing home an extra, you know, two or three people, I need to make something else. And I always, always have pasta, cheese, olive oil, salt, and pepper in my house. Okay, now you could see as the pasta was cooking that it absorbed most of the water, but there's just enough left in there to make a nice creamy sauce. We are going to turn off our stove, and now comes all the delicious flavors. I am going to add a couple of pieces of butter with some olive oil about two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to mix this together until the butter melts. It's the starches from the water that are going to be the base of your cream sauce. So it's very important to have some of that water left. You can actually see the water and the butter coming together to make the base of a cream. Now that we have our butter melted, we are gonna put a nice handful of Pecorino Romano cheese, about one cup, and a nice handful of Parmesan cheese, another cup, and now comes the star of this dish. I like to use fresh ground pepper, but if you like black pepper out of the box, you can use black pepper out of the box. The pepper really should be nice and fresh because that is your main ingredient of this dish. This will give you the kick that you're looking for. Now you mix all this delicious flavor together. You can see the cheese coming together nice and gooey. This is definitely the adult version of pasta and butter with a kick. Now comes the fun part, time to taste. Mm. This is one meal I could have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Make sure you leave in the comments section how your dish came out and what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like my video and subscribe to our page.